Good day everyone. I'm in the cut flower garden getting some of the last things I haven't cut yet. Look at the beautiful straw flowers. Now these, I, of course I cut them earlier in the season as well so they have their prettier fuller bloom but I love as they start to go to seed how beautiful they look. So I'm going to cut these and we'll make a quick little arrangement as a little still life to do our sketching from today. And look at Mr. Bug. I'm sorry, Mr. Bug. I don't want to take away your home. Here. Let's move him down. All right. So we'll take this beautiful orange, lovely straw flower and grab some other things to make a lovely still life to sketch from. And these big pincushion marigolds, these are actually very small. They got very large, like a mum. And I bought these as seed, and I will use these again next year. But look, even these are still going pretty strong in the cut flower garden. But I want to go to the old Acer in our little front garden to get some of the red leaves to contrast with the deep orange and golden yellow. Let's head over there. Look at the sunlight through the leaves of the Acer. Isn't it beautiful? And the ground is littered with their beautiful reds. And you can see I have a wheelbarrow full of lawn clippings from yesterday because we save our clippings, particularly this time of year. Besides compost, I use them as dressing to put on all my uh, beds and borders to uh, mulch down for the coming season. But don't you think these lovely reds will be so beautiful. Isn't that lovely? All right, let's cut some of those. And I'm not sure if others remember I had a pumpkin that had seeded itself. Well, actually, I planted the pumpkins on purpose in this border, which is now just about empty. There's one little mom still going. But I always plant pumpkins in here to spread out throughout the summer and then to have their fruit in the autumn. So look at how beautiful that is. I love that color. So I think we're going to take this pumpkin because its, it's mother plant died in the frost. So let's take him to be part of our still life. Is this a chrysalis? So let's take the pumpkin. So look how beautiful. This is a collection of straw flowers and the bright red, especially against the deep as you see. And our jolly pumpkin. And my one of my favorite little white jugs I use often. And of course in my pocket, so I always have something in my pocket of my barber. I have a the last of the uh, autumn apples. This is from my favorite uh, tree I have, the Liberty Apple, which I need to add more to my life in the spring if I can find them again. Look at that color. So you can see how just finding things in our garden gives us the palette for paintings. And uh, this in here with a pumpkin, I think it will be quite lovely. And the, there isn't really any tutorial needed for this. You can see I just stuck the branches in any old way. That's what I love about this sort of free autumn arrangement. You could cut any branches and they don't even have to have leaves or you could use faux leaves from the dollar store or anywhere and just wire them onto a twig and just stick, all, stick them in higgledy-piggledy into a little vase or jug. And then I can just take the straw flowers and the marigolds and I cut them rather short to see how where I want them to sit in the vase by holding it next to it. And then I'm literally just going to stick this down in there. I don't want to fuss with it too much because I want this to just look sort of natural. And there with my apple and a shell that happens to be <laughs> 
always have shells. As you can see, a little bench on the edge of the terrace. Always has some shells littered on it. And there we go, the simple still life with the last pumpkin of the garden, the last of my Liberty apples, and the beautiful Acer or Japanese maple leaves contrasting the straw flowers and the last of the summer marigolds. I think it looks quite lovely. I think uh, I'll probably do a rough sketch, and in fact, I will try to do it before I post this video and share it with you now. And as I like to do, I made a rough pencil sketch in my sketchbook as I was sitting out here, and then I scanned it, and using digital pastel chalks and digital ink, I sketched out a little scenario. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but often sketches like this just lead to inspiration for larger pieces. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna head down to the beach for my morning sketch and I'm going to take some of these that I cut separately, these little flowers, and use them as a inspiration for a pattern. What say you? Marigolds, straw flowers, and maybe shells for a repeat pattern? That could be a lovely wallpaper or a repeat in a painting. All right, let's get today's postcard. Today's postcard has a very different sky. Of course, the uh, autumnal leaves are still underfoot, but even some of the uh, scrub pines are starting to uh, lose some of their needles. But today, the sky is dark and gray and moody, and the sea is getting turbulent. And it has that lovely greenish gray. And there goes Mr. Bunny hopping through the undergrowth. Where did he go? I love how these particular native trees, when the wind blows, you can see the underside. They're almost like a silver birch in that way, where the underside of the leaves is so light, so when the wind picks up from this direction. And of course, that light underside of the leaves compared with the beautiful dusty blue of the juniper against that forest green with its um, greenery. Isn't that an amazing color combination? But as you can see, today is a very different postcard. Today is a postcard from a cloudy day which has promise of rain and promise of white caps. And uh, as you saw, this we have quite calm days where the bay and the harbor it can be still like glass or just a soft ripple as the tide moves it in and out. But today, here you can see the sky is qu quickening with dark clouds. The birds are out, but probably going to be roosting soon. The wind is up, the waves are up, and we will soon have some wind and rain. I love a dark stormy daylight today. In fact, in many ways, it helps me get more work done in the studio. Not that I can't daydream out an old cracked window with the uh, rain pitter pattering on it watching the waves, but I am a bit more productive when it's raining out. And can you see how the seagrass is so much more bent and yellowed now? It's starting to die back and soon will be flattened completely, and then as winter sets in, it will be gone from the landscape until spring. Look at that color of the golden seagrass and the green-gray of the waves as they break into white and mix into it. It's 
So yes, today's postcard is gray, but not dull or drab. Because in the gray of the sky, in the gray green of the sea, look at how the golden of the seagrass, or the sharp colors of the big boulders come up, or the leaves which remain in the deciduous trees across the harbor are all the more lit and see the grass in the low field along the shore and that brilliant movement of the white underside of those native trees. Today, like any day here, is a study in color and contrasts. Well, this is today's postcard. Time for me to finish my walk. And I'll close today's vlog with our still life pumpkin enjoying the still quite lovely fall arrangements and the cobalt blue and lavender and orange sunrise of today. Hope you enjoyed my short little Sunday vlog. This week is Thanksgiving here in America, but uh, I'm still hoping to try out a few more little short vlogs this week, so we shall see. The experiment of YouTube continues. And oh, I just startled the little morning dove. Sorry, little fellow. Trying to get his morning seed in the lavender bushes. Well, thank you for joining me here today. And from this lovely cobalt blue sunrise, it looks like we have a storm coming. Instead of the sharp, bright orange and pinks, we have the deep cobalt of the sea, the movement of the waves, and that line of blue clouds, which to me says we are probably going to have some rain. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this short vlog. And until my next vlog, remember, stay creative. Cheers. <laughs>